Hello everyone, this is Garrett and we are continuing with Titan Quest once again because I haven't played in a while and yeah, because I have finished stuff and I don't have an awful lot of time to record stuff, so hey, let's continue with the ridiculously long game rather than just do something short, right? Yes, this makes sense. It totally does, you just need to not think about it. So, um, yeah, as I said, I haven't played in a while, <laughs> so watch me screw up a lot, but... I think the general idea was still just to run around aimlessly, kill everything that moves, and then run around some more. Because we are going to explore everything! Because that's fun. That's what everyone wants to see. We must see every single nook and cranny of this game world of gameness. Eesh. And I really can't wait until I get increased attack speed. <laughs> because at the moment it feels kind of sluggish. But that's probably just me. At least it is killing pretty much everyone in one hit, so that's pretty neat, but... Still, it wouldn't hurt. Killing some birds, killing some skeletons, killing some more birds, killing a zombie. There's always zombies in the games I play. Actually, yeah, that never actually occurred to me how many zombies in the games I play. I mean, Quake had zombies, zombies on a wall, and... This has zombies just kind of mucking about, and... Well, I guess Resident Evil 5 sort of had zombies, but not really. They had unique things. They they had things, too, but... You can't carry anymore. And so it begins. I probably should have looked that up when... Well, before I started recording this, really. Uh, yeah. But from the looks... Actually, how can I not carry that? Oh, that's why. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, well, it looks like there's not much here going on. Not much going on here anyway, so. Just gonna quickly see what's murdering the people over here. Some zombies, of course. Always more zombies. Good thing we have the, the Red Guard over here to, um. Yeah, it seems all they really do is shoot zombies. Until all the zombies are dead and will probably not return again until I load a save game, so hey! Fancy that, right? Well, wow, there's really quite a lot of zombies here. Experience for me! But yes, I'm just... Uh, okay, thought I was going to sell up, but I'm not. Okay, now I'm going to sell up, so I'll be right back one moment. Okay, well, that's that done, so let's continue. Oh, we should have mastery. I honestly can't remember what I've talked about in the previous videos, because it has been like, well, months, really, so... Yeah, Shroud of Mastery is pretty neat. Increase your skill points by a bunch. Or at least uh, the skill points and the skills you put points into, which is nice because now I do a ridiculous... Oh, not ridiculous, but a larger amount of damage with my marksmanship thingabob. And that is quite neat. I like doing more damage. It makes me happy. Oh, so happy. Ooh, a, a, a reinforced helm. It's crap. Hooray. Ooh, money. But yes. Uh, my apologies if I start repeating everything I've said in the previous videos, but that's just simply the case when you are as lazy as me. How did I hit that bird when I was aiming for the zombie? I don't know. Let's go with it. It makes perfect sense. Oh dear. So much stuff shooting at me. And I really need to get used to looking at my health because... Uh, this game is slightly different than the stuff I've played recently. Oh. That, that guy has things. He has two swords and it looks like he's on fire. Things that are on fire in this game generally are not a good thing. No. Because for some reason being on fire equals being stronger than most things. Be well, I guess you are on fire and just going, eh, I'm on fire. Like this bothers me at all. Ha! <laughs> no, of course it doesn't. So, yeah, I guess um, that does kind of say something about the character you're fighting, but... Oh dear, I've stuff really starts dropping here, so... Uh, I'm just picking up everything that is not grey or white at this point because they do not earn me money or need at least not lots of money. Oh, ow. It would be kind of a shame if I died now the moment I start recording this game again. That would be kind of embarrassing, wouldn't it? And I thought I shot slow, but at least the enemies shoot even slower. Which is kind of silly. Because they're skeletons! Although I guess skeletons don't really have any muscles, so how do they shoot things in the first place? Magic! But let's just... Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go with magic. 
Magic never needs explanation because it's magic. It's magical. And does that make sense? Boat! Boat, 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 boat. And oars! Look at those oars. Nice. Let's continue. I don't know why I pointed out the oars, but it just felt necessary to me. It simply did. Yeesh. Ooh, it's a, um, a natural cave. Let's go in the natural cave, which is harder than I thought. And after some fiddling, there you go. Oh dear. That's a lot of stuff. Die. Eat my net of doom. <sighs> I wish the nets to just stay useful for the rest of the game, really. I mean, it really is... It, it, is, it is a nice way to just keep things at bay, but it would be nicer if it actually hit more than one enemy at once, I guess. Should just hold Z or Z. Whichever button you wish to go with. But yeah, it would have been nice if you could, could use it to catch, like, multiple enemies at once. And this thing would actually be pretty useful because you could just attack everything from a distance. But I guess at that point it might be a little overpowered, so... Eh. Oh well. Ooh. That was a... I'm such a nice grave robber. I just I just make sure that um, the, the dead are not too... Um, yeah, that they, that they can sleep carefully rather than having to lie on, like... Swords and stuff all the time. Now, that's just annoying. I mean, look, there's a sword in here. So, hey, I'm totally doing the right thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's going on? Scary things. Ow. Eat. Oh, dear. Why are there so many skeletons here? They frightened me. Actually, no, not really. But still, they could. If I, if I choose to be frightened by skeletons for some unknown reason. It could happen. Eat Ness! And I'll kill off the rest of your friends now. Okay, Net does not work very well against those assassins. Who are also like three levels higher than everything else here except the mage apparently. But I'm guessing the mage doesn't have quite as much health as the assassin because the assassin is an assassin. Huh. That's a fun thing to say. Just use the word assassin as many times as possible in one sentence and see how many times you fiddle up. No, I don't say it wrongly. Let's just cue to that. Er ah! Bird! Why are there so many birds in this tomb? What are birds doing here? This is so weird. Although I guess maybe they're like zombie vultures. They they eat zombies when, when they sleep. I don't know, do zombies sleep or do they just kind of stumble around forever? Hmm. I never thought of that. Huh. I require elaboration on this subject. It is very much important indeed. Yes, totally. And it looks like this cave does not have too many interesting shenanigans going on here. But, it did have quite a lot of experience. I'm almost at level 9 now, so hey. Experience is always good. I'll return there later, after everything is dropped. Spider! Tidy Spider! Give the Tidy Spider! Oh. And I'm in the net. Great. Ooh, a band of insight. This ring really makes me feel very insightful about subject. Yes, I can see how a ring does that. Magic! Yes. It makes sense when you think about it. Clink, clink, money, money, and bands. So many bands in this place, and uh, of course my inventory is running full again. <laughs> that never gets old. At least you have infinite town portals, else this game would get on my nerves. But still, me being the loot whore that I am has been given infinite teleportal, portal, 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 town portal thingies. So huzzah. Chest. What's that sound I keep hearing? It keeps going up. It's a sort of trap. I do not know. You can't carry anything. Yes, I can. Just watch me sort out my inventory slowly. Clink. And I'll check that out later. Maybe these are just natural sounds of a tomb. 
I actually quite like that when you run past the fire, you hear the actual fire. You rarely get that in games, actually. Look, fire, fire, wow, amazing. I, re I really quite like all the little details they put in this game. I mean, it's a shame that the company is kind of dead now, but yeah, at least they released this game and it is awesome, so at least the programmers can go, ah, we released something good, and even though our company has gone, gone completely down the hill, we released something that's like totally awesome and stuff. So yeah. Steal the tomb, music playing, even though I'm outside. Uh, well, not an extra shrine. I think I'm just going to sell some things, so be right back. Okay, and we're back again. Sold up stuff, bought a slightly more powerful bow, which also does vitality damage, which will be those weird blue stuff you basically kind of see. Or actually, this might. Let me just check it out real quickly. Okay, yeah, this, uh, this is a different bow I was thinking of, actually. There are two bows, and this one does um, energy steal, which is kind of nice. I mean, I didn't really need all that much energy to begin with, but now I basically have an infinite amount. Uh, just a little bit more, but you only steal energy from the enemies that actually have it. Uh, which seems to be pretty much none of these, but hey, I'll probably run into a mage again at some point, and he has some energy. That I can steal. Ooh, what's that? Metal punch. I just bought a bow, and this one's going to be better, isn't it? And not just a little bit either. Wow. Okay, I guess uh, we're going with this one. Uh, slightly. Yeah, this uh, definitely is quite a lot better, and it looks a lot nicer too. Actually, I mean, I wonder if I can. Yeah. You know, yeah, that I I quite like this. Plus two to puncture shot arrows. Do I have puncture shot as a skill or something? I'm curious now. Oh, this is actually a skill I'm going to get later, so... Oh, look at that. The things you find when you're recording stuff. That's all. I guess that's, um... At least I got to talk about the energy steal, so hey. I mean, I didn't really get to show it, but you'll just have to take my word that it actually does that. And I'm sure later in the game we'll find something that actually does energy steal again, so... Whee! Silly harpies. What are you doing? You're so silly. But yeah, this thing, everyone kind of dies in one hit. And I could have stolen energy from that enemy because he had some. You could see the little blue bar underneath the health bar if they have any energy at all, which is nice. So, yeah. I'm not sure which direction I have to go, but let's go with this one. I don't know what that is. Is that a fountain? Yes. So, how about we go this direction first, actually? Just to make sure we're not missing anything here. 